Finding expressions with rational exponents, simply put, exponents with fractions, I'm sorry, yeah, exponents as fractions, in some cases, right, not all. Rational, a rational number talks about numbers that are uh, repeating, terminating, could be a uh, could be a radical. These are these are rational numbers. They're numbers that we consider to be to be real numbers because they're terminating and repeating. All right. So let's say you're given again. We're looking at some of our basic rules, right? Um, X to the third times x to the fourth, we're adding three plus four, seven. And in another case, you could have x to the third raised to a fourth power. And basically we're saying here, in this case, okay, we're adding a certain amount of x's that are being multiplied. Here we're actually raising a certain power to, a, to a, another certain power. So basically you're looking at this like x to the third times x to the third times x to the third, times x to the third. You're, you're raising x to the third to, four, to a fourth power, so basically you end up with x to the twelfth. So the idea here is that you're, you're multiplying three times four. Okay, I think it's easier to look at it this way than it is to break this up into four powers. Okay, this is a good rule to understand. Now let's say you look at a, a certain example that talks about having those rational exponents, x to the negative one-fifth. Times x to the negative two over three. What is that? Okay. That's a negative two over three. Multiplying exponents I'm sorry, variables with exponents, so we're going to actually end up bringing up adding these two. So you add the Now put this on a TI 83, negative 1 fifth plus negative 2 thirds, get a result. Let it be a decimal. You can always go to your math button and then use fraction. And that'll get you uh, your exponent that you can use. Or you can simply um, find a common denominator, negative 3 over 15 plus a negative 10 over 15, which gives me x negative 13 over 15. Um, negative exponent? Yeah. Are we going to flip the fraction? No. Don't make the mistake of saying, okay, well this is gonna be x to the 15 over 13. That's not what you're doing. Okay, you're actually moving this. Because it is a negative exponent, you're moving it to the bottom. And that will be your answer. You're adding the exponents. Some, some students will, will flip this. Oh, anyways. Well, you're, you're asking which case would we want to put a 1 on, on top? Yeah. In this case right here. Because we ended up, when we evaluated the negative 
one fifth and negative two thirds, we end up with a negative exponent here. That's what brought it to the bottom. So let's change this back to three fourths and say, okay, we're looking at this like a negative one third plus a three fourths, which would give me And here you see the exponent ends up staying positive. Ends up staying positive. So we're not going to put it over one. We're saying. Yeah, we're saying. And don't forget, we've gone over converting this, let's say, into radical form where you have the 12th root of x to the fifth, where this bottom number becomes a root, and this stays in here. <coughs> we looked at that, if you're going to simplify that even further. <coughs> Here's a uh, complicated, we could say somewhat complicated, question that incorporates a couple rules here. Here I have variables raised to a rational, negative rational number, raised to a negative exponent, and then raised to a fraction as a power. This is, this is get, we're getting a couple levels of com you know, complicated here, uh, some things to work with. First thing I want to look at is what's, whatever's going on inside here. And I know this is division, so we've talked about multiplying being added, we've talked about this being actually subtraction. So negative one third, negative one over three, minus a negative six. Let's say negative six over one. Okay, we're taking the one third, it's dividing, minus, and we already have a negative exponent here, okay? Now, our negative negative is going to give us a positive. So I can look at x to the negative one third plus 6 over 1, and still raised to the 1 6 power. Let's not forget about it. find a like denominator here. Uh, yeah, this would just be 3 as a denominator. So this stays negative 1 third and this changes to 18 over 3. Which gives me bigger numbers positive 17 over 3 here. So x to the 17 third raised to the 1 6 power. We know this is multiplication here. You're multiplying your exponents. This is going to be raised to another power. x 17 over 3 times 1 over 6. x 17 over 18. Now if this was negative, here, this power was negative here, and I multiplied by a negative number, and this became negative, then okay, I would have that, that's where I would have that x to the 1 over 17 over 18. This is a good question here. We can even, if we wanted to, add a multiplication here, get you to multiply, then subtract, and then raised to another power, and that would cover a good amount of the rules there. Are there any questions on this one?